good morning students and all the viewers of my channel i am rahul agnu kale today i am going to discuss the next point of photochemistry that is quantum yield and factors that affects on the quantum yield this video lecture is useful for undergraduate students in chemistry as you know i am working as assistant professor in department of chemistry at vivekanand college kolhapur so today we are going to discuss an another term that is used to express the results of a photochemical reaction so ordinary in a ordinary chemical reaction commonly the yield is used to if express the efficiency of a of an ordinary chemical reaction right similarly to express the efficiency of our photochemical reaction in a photochemistry one terminology is used that is quantum yield and that is denoted by a symbol phi and see it is also called quantum efficiency now quantum yield or quantum efficiency is used to express the result of a photochemical reaction and see it is denoted by a symbol phi what is quantum yield quantum yield is defined in a different ways the first the quantum yield is nothing but the fraction of a molecule that reacts after direct excitation of light source right after direct excitation of our reacting system with the light source fraction of a molecules that undergoes reaction after direct excitation of our reaction system with the light source that is the simple first definition of a quantum mechanic sorry quantum yield the quantum yield is further quantum yield is further defined by the another equation that is number of moles of substance that reacts for each einstein of a radiation quantum yield is defined as the number of moles of a substance that reacts for each einstein of a radiations also it can be defined as the number of a molecules of a substance that reacts for each quantum of radiation absorbed you just here keep in mind if we are using the term number of mole then we are using the term of radiation that is einstein einstein is nothing but energy of one mole of radiation right in the last video we have discussed einstein is a energy of one mole of radiation thus the quantum yield is defined as or it is a number of moles of a substance that reacts due to absorption of each einstein of radiation that is quantum yield similarly it can also be defined as the number of molecules of a reacting substance that reacts due to absorption of each quantum of radiations now see this quantum yield is further expressed as it is denoted by phi phi equals to it is a simply a ratio of number of moles of the reacting substance that reacts in a given time to the number of einstein of radiation or light source that is absorbed in the same time right it can also be shown as it is a simply ratio of number of molecules that decompose in a given time to the number of quanta of light that is absorbed by a reaction system in the same time right it can also be expressed as phi equals to rate of a photochemical reaction everybody knows that rate is nothing but change in concentration with time right change in concentration with time means number of a molecule that is reacts in a given time that is rate of photochemical reaction or any chemical reaction rate equals to change rate of a chemical reaction that is phi equals to rate of it is a ratio of rate of chemical reaction to the number of quanta or einstein that is absorbed in the same time see now there are so many factors that affects on a quantum yield see in the last video we have discussed the stark einstein's law now see in that stark einstein law the statement is that each molecule of a reacting system absorbs a single photon or a quanta of radiation now see if this stark einstein law is valid for a photochemical reaction in that case the quantum yield of our reaction should be it should be 
unity because if one molecule absorbs a one photon then that ratio five equals to number of molecule that reacted is one and number of photon that is absorbed that is also one right so see here number of molecules reacted is one and number of quantum that is absorbed is also one so one upon one that is five equals to one so for an ideal reaction means the reaction that obeys a law of photochemical equivalence or the reaction that obeys a principle of quantum activation in that case the value of phi should be unity right see here also you just keep in mind i am focusing the another one uh, i am repeating that definition of phi phi it is a ratio of number of moles if moles is there then einstein should be there phi equals to number of moles decomposing or reacting in a given time divided by number of einstein absorbed in the same time or number of if number of molecule is there then number of quanta should be there means phi is a ratio of number of molecule that is decomposing in a given time divided by number of quanta that is absorbed in a same time right now see for a certain reaction it is observed that the value of a quantum yield that is phi sometimes it is more or higher than 1 having order 10 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 5 also but sometimes it is very very less than 1 having order 10 raised to minus 10 raised to minus 4 or minus 3 also so see why such a deviation in quantum yield is observed that is due to some factor that is disturbing or you can say that deviate the value of quantum yield from a unity right it means some factor that influence the value of a quantum yield and that deviates the stark einstein law or that deviates the law of photochemical equivalence out of that the first factor is temperature now everybody knows that in case of a endothermic reaction generally the at ordinary temperature those endothermic reactions are very slow right but if you increase the temperature then rate of those endothermic reaction is increases similarly all the photochemical reactions falls under category of endothermic reactions right means what in case of a photochemical changes if we are increasing the temperature right then the rate of that photochemical reaction is increases right and as the rate is directly proportional to the quantum yield right for a endothermic reaction increase in the temperature increases the rate of reaction as rate of reaction increases obviously rate is directly proportional to quantum yield hence quantum yield is also increases in that case the quantum yield of a reaction is directly proportional to the temperature right quantum yield of a reaction is directly proportional to temperature now the second factor that affects is wavelength of radiation used everybody knows that wavelength is denoted by a symbol lambda now how it affects the quantum yield now see if we are using radiation having lower wavelength everybody knows that there is a inverse relationship in between wavelength and energy of radiation if the wavelength of radiation is short then obviously it has a high energy right if the radiation having high energy is used right then maximum number of a molecules are going to react as maximum number of a molecules are going to react due to absorption of high energy radiations so the quantum yield obviously increases as a wavelength is inversely proportional to energy of electromagnetic radiations and energy is directly proportional to number of a molecule that has going to reacts right so obviously this quantum yield is directly proportional to energy and that quantum yield is inversely proportional to wavelength of light or radiation that is used right so the quantum yield is inversely proportional to the wavelength of electromagnetic electromagnetic radiation that is used for a photochemical reaction this is the second factor and then third next factor is light intensity now see with increase in the intensity of a light the velocity of a photochemical reaction is increases right the velocity of a photochemical reaction is increases see as velocity is increases obviously rate constant of those photochemical reaction is increases velocity increases rate constant of this that photochemical reaction is 
increases. So obviously, if rate constant is increases, then due to absorption of a single proton, maximum number of a molecules are going to react and they, or that are going to decompose. Due to which, obviously, if maximum number of a molecules are reacting, the quantum yield is should be increases. So obviously, the light intensity is directly proportional to quantum yield of those photochemical reactions. And the last factor that is responsible for a quantum yield or variation or effect that affects on the quantum yield is presence of inert gas. Now see what happened due to addition of inert gas, the quantum yield of a reaction is increases. How? Because due to addition of a inert gas, the maximum of electromagnetic radiation that is with our reaction system is utilized for a reactant molecule because inert gas doesn't interfere doesn't interfere or it doesn't interact with the radiations so most of the radiations is utilized for our photochemical changes if maximum radiations are used for our photochemical changes obviously maximum number of the molecules are getting reacted at as a maximum number of the molecules are getting reacted num number of molecules reacted is directly proportional to the quantum yield so obviously quantum yield is increases so quantum yield is directly proportional to the addition of inert gas in our reaction system now see in this factor there are some examples of a factor that is affecting on a quantum yield the first factor is temperature now see the one scientist Kuhn, he observed that the photochem photochemical decomposition of ammonia's quantum yield is increases by 50 percent due to every increase in around 100 degree Celsius of a temperature means by increasing the temperature by 100 degree Celsius the quantum yield of those reaction is increases by 15 percent similarly by increasing the temperature up to 500 degree Celsius he observed there is a seven times enhancement in the quantum yield is observed right see due to this the high quantum yield is there now see the high quantum yield and low quantum yield it has some different reasons that reason we will discuss in the next video but before going to the next video i will repeat all those things see in the first definition of a quantum mechanism what is quantum yield quantum yield or quantum efficiency is denoted by a symbol phi it expresses the result of a photochemical reactions it is nothing but number of a moles of a substance that reacts to due to absorption of each einstein of radiation or it is a number of molecules of a substance that reacts due to absorption of each quanta of radiation used. It is nothing but it is a ratio of phi is equals to number of moles of moles of a reacting substance that decomposes or reacts in a given time to the number of Einstein absorbed in the same time or that, or that can also be defined as phi equals to number of molecules of a decomposing of a reacting system that decomposing in a given time to the number of quanta absorbed in the same time. It is also defined as phi equals to rate of a photochemical reaction divided by number of quanta or Einstein that is absorbed in the same time. Right? And see these are the factors. We have discussed the four factors first. Temperature, wavelength, light source and presence of inert gas. First, the quantum yield is directly proportional to temperature means being a endothermic reaction. You just keep in mind all the quantum photochemical reactions are endothermic in nature. So with increase in the temperature, rate of reaction is temperature. As rate of a reaction is temperature, quantum yield is rate of a reaction is increases. Quantum yield is also increases with increase in the temperature. So phi is directly proportional to temperature. Also, as energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So with increase in the wavelength, energy decreases. Quantum yield decreases. With a decrease in the wavelength, energy increases. Quantum yield is increases. So there is an inverse relationship in between quantum yield and wavelength and we, next we have to move towards the light intensity everybody knows that with increase in the light intensity of absorbed radiation the velocity of a reaction is increases as velocity increases rate of reaction is increases and as rate of reaction is increases its quantum yield is also increases and the last point last factor that is affects on the quantum yield you see these are the factors that deviates the that is responsible for a deviation of a law of photochemical equivalence or right, that deviates the principle of quantum activation presence of inert gas see due to presence of inert gas what happened that inner inert gas doesn't interact with the electromagnetic radiations so obviously maximum electromagnetic radiations is utilized for a photochemical transformation right so obviously 
If maximum radiations are used, the maximum number of molecules are getting reacted. If maximum number of moles or number of molecules are getting reacted, the quantum yield of our system should be increases. Thank you.